What's up, YouTube? <clears throat> Today, I'm going to be doing the shunt mod on the 1500 watt controller, which will give me a lot more noticeable uh, power gains because uh, we will be soldering the shunts together, which are right there hiding, but you can't. We're gonna take this apart right now. You take these one, you take these screws out right here. One, two, three, and four. You take those off first. Then you don't have to take the back off like I did, but I wanted to. And then you take these out here, these six, one, two, three four, five, six screws here in the front. Then this whole assembly should pop out like so. The aluminum right here that hold the MOSFETs together. They have a little bit of grease on them, so watch your fingers. This is the housing, this is the assembly right here. And if we pull these uh, cords right here, these negative cords, we pull them just a tad bit out inside because they're outside. You pull them away from this and watch the transistors. These are pretty good transistors, 100 volt, which are pretty good for a cheap uh, controller so we're, we have right here the three shunts one two and three see them right here these right here I gotta get in the camera angle these three shunts right here one, two, and three. We will be soldering all these three together like this. It has a little bit of solder on them, but I want a lot more solder on them. So, uh, let me get the heat. The soldering iron ready. The right temperature, and I'll cut you back on when I'm about to solder it. Okay, YouTube, I'll cut you guys back on because uh, I had a little trouble trying to take this off, so I don't want to mess with that. So what I just did was bend the wires a tad bit up and over so we can get to these three shunts here, what I was trying to show you earlier. Right here. One, two, and three. They have a small amount of solder on there, and I want to cover these three together. You want to solder these three right here, one, two, and three. All right, you two. What you want to do is get get to the uh, your needle nose pliers, and first you want to squeeze these three together like so. You gotta grab them and just squeeze them together. Hold on, let me get you in the angle so you can see it happening. Okay, it's hard to do because of all the wiring, but it's doable. Let's squeeze them together. We got the shunts squeezed together. 
Let me try to zoom in so you can guys can see the shunts are. Okay, I could squeeze that one shunt a little bit more in. Just because it got solder on it, so it doesn't want to squeeze together, but the other one is closer together. And now what I'm going to do is solder the whole top of that. The whole top of this have solder from here to here, all three together. All right, YouTube. We gotta solder these right here. Together. Let's do it. That's pretty good. That solder right there is pretty good. I just gotta uh, get it in the right position. But we did it, guys. Shunt mod is done. See that? Good glob of solder right there. So that's how you shunt mod a controller and you just put it back the same way you took it apart and that's it. So I should have a lot more power gains. See you in the next one. All right, you All right, YouTube. Uh the shunt mod was a success. Here it is right here. This little piece right there, right in the middle of the screen. Shut mod is successful. Solder and iron, hot one, and solder. I'm gonna put it in the casing and we're gonna try to connect it on the bike as soon as possible. So stay tuned for that video. Let's slide this back in the housing.